Lego is going woke. The company unveiling a range of new characters in the effort to be more inclusive. Lego says the new characters will promote diversity and understanding. Some will have anxiety issues. I don't know how you show that. One will have a missing limb, another Down syndrome. These are toys for children. And I don't know why grown adults are talking about it on national television. But nonetheless, we will hear more from Fox's analytical A team in a second. First, more details about this all inclusive Lego line. The brand recently introduced new characters to its friends line, including those with different skin tones, disabilities, limb differences, and vitiligo. The company said it had done so after feedback that children had a desire to see themselves, their friends, and their families better represented. Apparently, that is unacceptable to Harris Faulkner and Fox News radio host Jimmy Fela. So let's hear what they have to say. These are really important issues. Yeah. Do you want Lego in there? Definitely not. But what's so fascinating about this story is the divide in the country. Republicans think it's insane that they're forcing identity politics into Legos. Democrats are upset that they didn't make a drag queen stripper. They're like, you call this a children's <laughs> toy? What kind of set is this? No, it shouldn't be going on the way it's going on. But the reason they force identity into toys is because they think identity comes with a built-in political orientation. And that's what they're after here. I'm not having it. Wow. Having it. <laughs> wow. <He's not> <laughs> she said wow. Like like it was a big deal that he's not having it. Like, oh, this rando we brought in here to make gas and iron points. Not having it. Whoa. <laughs> That's the best part yeah. of this entire story. Harris Faulkner's so embarrassing. <gasps> okay. So guys, uh, two fun things about this. One, uh, just the phenomenon overall. Right wingers don't want anything that's different than them. This isn't even racial or or about gender identity. Guys missing a limb. Why is that wrong? Like why can't that be represented? Why could why do people who look exactly like you are the only ones who could ever be represented in movies or Legos or M&Ms? Why can't they represent people who don't look like you? What a weird thing. By the way, let's just let's just let's keep it simple for a second and just focus on the fact that Lego is a private company that's looking to profit. They have to profit. Otherwise, they die, right? So, could it be that they're putting out a product because there's demand for that product? Yeah, and by the way, <laughs> my daughter bought a, a a Barbie that's in a wheelchair, right? How dare she? Yeah, and you know what that indoctrinated her into? Maybe being decent to people in wheelchairs. <gasps> oh, we can't have that kind of identity politics. You know that if you are in a wheelchair or missing a limb or have Down syndrome, people should be really mean to you. I'm not having it, Jenk. <laughs> not having, oh no, she's not having it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this one though, uh, fun prediction, this one's not gonna stick. You won't see it around like you did with M&Ms and all those things mm -hmm. around and around. You know why? Because there's people with Down syndrome and disabilities in Republican families. Mm. So it works only if you can create an effective other, right? Hey, they don't look like you, they got a different skin color. Hey, they don't act like you, they, they like people of the same gender, oh, boo, right? And in fact, that's why right now two thirds of Americans say no, gay marriage is perfectly fine no matter how much propaganda the right wing does, because gay people are also inside their families. So people with the Republicans that have Down syndrome kids, they're not gonna like this talk at all. And Fox News will backpedal out of this. And then this is like, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. I think this is one of the last times you'll see the so-called Lego controversy, because it's not gonna play well. I'm just, I'm really happy to see that Fox News is covering the important issues. <laughs> right, who thinks that's a top issue in America? Who thinks that? <laughs> people trying to distract you. From the top issues in America. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.